Hi there, I'm Yvonne DeSellis coming to you on my channel Y Energy. I'm not going to bother date or time, stands, time stamping my videos anymore because I think you can look that up in YouTube and I just want to get right into it because I know your time is valuable. I just wanted to do another energy healing video. I know right now with COVID being such a major, major stressor for everybody, negative emotions are running rampant. So for this video, I'm just going to show you a few exercises you can do to get rid of some of those negative emotions or at least release them because I know people are really having a tough time right now. Um, I had to do some exercises for myself um, because unfortunately my mother's cat passed away a few weeks ago and even though it's not my cat, I find myself every once in a while just losing it over this cat. I was really in love with this cat and I had videos of him, her, sorry, and... It just, I, I had to do one of the energy healing exercises I learned by Donna Eden. So I'm going to start this off with that one. This, this is a good one for if you are feeling just sad, depressed, lonely. This should help you. Um, but also know if you are feeling lonely right now, I am so, so sorry. But please know you are not alone. And I know that that might not really help right now to hear you're not alone. I know that might just sound kind of overly Pollyanna. But I just want you to know you're not alone. I know a lot of people who feel the same exact way you do right now. This is a very tough time, but we're definitely going to get past this. And I really firmly believe we're going to be better off when we get on the other end of things. So anyway, all that said, um, I do want to show you that exercise. It's called, I believe, for trauma and overwhelm. And I do have to warn you, the very first move that you do is you want to put your face in your hands. You can actually cup your face if you want. I'm sorry if I'm bonking my microphone, but you can actually put your hands on your face or you can just leave them close. Just make sure you keep them within your energetic field, which is about two to three inches away from your, from, from your body. But I just try to keep them close and hold it here and just know that this is tapping into something called the penetrative flow which means that it's going into emotions that you have buried deep inside. Um, I have had some people tell me that they can't understand why when they do this, it makes them cry. It's because it's letting you release an emotion for something that's buried so deep you may not even know what it is. So doing this can help. You want to start off with this. And now let's do the breathing. And I do have a video on breathing that I'll put a link to on this because, again, I don't want to waste your time because I know your time is valuable. So... I'll put a link into this about um, proper breathing techniques for energy healing. But anyway, start off here, breathe in. And then on the breath out, you want to bring your fingers, your middle fingers, to the bridge of your nose, press in hard, and breathe out. And as you're breathing out, you want to very hard press in and slide all the way up to your hairline. When you get to your hairline, you want to stop and hold it at the hairline just for a moment. This is a good place to keep your fingers for a moment. I believe this is on liver meridian. I'm not really sure, though. I know this is on a meridian point, so if you can just hold it here for a moment, that's good. And then twist your hands around so that your fingers are at the center of your forehead, and we're going to do a crown pull now. So press in, and then pull apart to stretch apart and go to your temples. If you have a headache, this is a good spot for rubbing to help you get rid of the headache. Or you can just leave it here with pressure. And then just slowly slide your hands down and over to your heart chakra. You can end this exercise here. It's generally where this exercise ends. But one thing I've added to this, I'm sorry, I've just got to move my camera so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going back into my heart chakra position here, sorry. From the heart chakra position, slide your hands up to your neck, to where your neck meets with your torso, and just keep them there, and then slide down your shoulders. And if you want, you can do this too. This is a good feeling because this is on triple warmer. This is what we do to warm ourselves up because it's on triple warmer. And one other thing you can do, if you wanna make this feel a little bit better, is go all the way down the elbows to the sides and then go back up, go all the way up the back of the neck, and up the ears just a little bit, and then back down. And just try and see if doing that helps you. You might feel a temperature shift or some sort of shift when you do this, a pressure shift, a temperature shift. If not right away, perhaps after you do this, just a few times. And then when you're ready, 
Bring your hands together into prayer mode. Rub them together. Shake them out to get rid of any negative energy you might have just unwittingly picked up while doing the exercise. That's a good way to get rid of negative energy. You want to keep it from going into your hand chakra. So you want to rub your hands together and shake them out. Don't shake them towards anyone because you're shaking away negative energy. So that's for getting rid of feelings of overwhelming sadness, grief, loneliness, that sort of thing. It may not get rid of it completely, but it should help you shed those feelings. The next one is a good way to help with anger. Um, and I did find this to be very helpful. You want to bring your arms in front of you. You can either have them straight or bent. And just think of whatever it is that's making you angry. Is there someone who's making you angry? Is it a situation? Whatever it is, try to envision it in your hands. And now let's breathe in. And one word of caution here. I'm going to say make a fist. But when I say make a fist, careful that your fingernails are not pressing into your fingers. I've had people say, oh, God, ow, I, I, I almost broke the skin on my hand. If you feel like your nails are so long that you're going to do that, do this. And do it this way. I'm able to curl it so that my fingernails are actually in this way towards my hand so that I'm not stabbing myself. You don't want to stab yourself because I guarantee you, you're going to be gripping pretty hard here. So again, if you have to, just bend your fingers so that your fingernails are not anywhere near your skin. You don't want to hurt yourself. So again, either straight out or bent. I keep mine bent in front of me. Think of whatever is really, really bothering you. And a breathe, in, breathe in. Put it in those hands and curl them into fists. And now on the next breath in, you're going to go up and over. You're going to kind of swish your arms around and go over your head. You're still holding on to whatever it is that's making you angry. And now on this next breath out, I'm going to push the camera away. You do not have to stand up for this. I'm just doing this to show you what you want to do next. You can either throw down very fast, or what I find more helpful is to breathe out and do what I'm doing right now. When you get down to the bottom, just think of it as you're shaking it out and getting rid of it. Shake it out in front of you, get it off your hands, rub them together, shake it out as far away from you as you want. It also might be helpful to go to a window and shake it out towards outside. You just want to get that nasty feeling, that nasty anger away from you and do that as many times as you need to do. It's possible you might need to do this whole thing a few times for it to help, but it can be really, really helpful. And the very last thing, so I did sadness and I did anger. One last thing I just want to cover is a very quick, easy thing you can do for stress. Actually, two really quick, easy things you can do for stress. One is what I call the fingertip grip. Give me one second while I take a sip of water. <laughs> I call this the fingertip grip because I learned this as an EFT exercise. EFT generally stands for Emotional Freedom Technique or Tapping. One more sec. So sorry, I am very, very dry mouth today. I don't know what my problem is. But well, I do. I have multiple sclerosis and my medications are very dry mouth making. But anyway, um, this is called fingertip grip. I call it that because I learned it from an EFT specialist. This is not a tapping exercise. Generally, EFT is tapping. Um, tapping on your cheekbones, on your chin, on the skin between your nose and your mouth. This is good to do if you're angry, if you have PTSD, anything like that. Things like tapping can really be helpful, but this is another technique that does not involve tapping that is very helpful for stress or for replacing bad behaviors. Like if you're trying to quit biting your nails or something, one thing you do is just take one hand and put it together like this. Tap the index finger to your pinky up top and then just go against your thumb, kind of like a duck bill, sort of. And take your other hand and just grip the tip of that hand and squeeze. And you want to grip the tip so that you can squeeze really hard without hurting yourself. That way, if you're angry at something, you're squeezing to get that anger out or to get that stress out. This is also a good behavior to do if you're trying to replace a behavior with something. And you can do both hands. Just do whatever feels right to you. You can also hold it different ways. But again, you just want to hold the tips of those fingers and you can squeeze. It's almost just think of it as a stress squeezy ball, but you're squeezing your hand. Just the very tips of your fingers. That can be very useful. And last but not least, this was one that I really like that I find very helpful for getting rid of feelings of stress or panic. If you start to feel yourself panicking, this is a very good one. You want to cover your eyebrow ridges with this move. The eyebrow ridges are about an inch over your eyebrow. If you feel around over your eyebrow, you'll feel like a little bump and then you'll feel a 
little indentation that's kind of should be about parallel with your eyebrows. That's the eyebrow ridge you want to have covered here. So you want to have your hands on either side of your forehead, just on the sides. They don't have to be at the center at the sides. Right about where that fingertip, where that, sorry, where that eyebrow ridge is. Just make sure that's covered. Hold it like this. And if you want, you can keep your thumbs at your temples, which again is really good if you have a headache. But most important thing is that your fingers are on top of that eyebrow ridge. And now let's just do a couple of breaths like this. And just a couple more. If you have their permission, this is also something you can do for someone else standing behind them. You can go up behind someone and put your hands, make sure again that you've got your fingers on their eyebrow ridges, but you can actually just tell them, put your hands there and just tell them to breathe with you and breathe with them together. And again, deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. I'm not going to go into that here because like I said, I'm going to put a link to that video up. I'm going to cut short here because again, I want you to not have your time wasted. So I do hope that was helpful for you. I hope that helps you feel better. If you know anyone who you think might benefit from my videos, could you please let them know about me? I'm a small YouTuber, really trying to get Y energy off the ground here because I want to help as many people as I possibly can. And to my loyal subscribers, as always, I thank you so, so much for coming to visit me. I really appreciate having you here. Um, if you have multiple sclerosis, you can probably relate to this. It's been a bad MS week. Um, not a great MS week, but it's getting better. And I know things are going to get better. Um, learning all about the law of attraction now. That's another thing. If you don't know about the law of attraction, look into it. It's very, very interesting. Um, it basically means like begets like. If you put negative energy out into the world, you're going to get negative things come back to you. And vice versa, if you put positivity out there, good things should happen. And again, trying not to sound overly Pollyanna. But I really do believe it. I believe it's true. So anyway, thank you as always for coming to my channel, listening to me babble. Namaste, peace and light. Thank you so much. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. Cheers.